Hey everyone, Anthony here, and today we're keeping this short and sweet. The reason being, we're talking about some of our favorite short cigars. So I reach for a small cigar when I just don't have a lot of time. I'm on the go, but I really do have maybe a half hour at most to smoke a cigar and I really want to enjoy it. I reach for some of my favorite short cigars because it's a time thing for me. You know, I, sometimes I just really want a condensed version of something and the smaller the format of a cigar, a lot of times the more intense it could be, but in a good way. I don't, you know, not in an intense way where it smokes too strong or burns hot or it gets, you know, bitter. You know, a short cigar has a lot of great intense flavors in a little package. Well, right now I'm smoking the Fuente Hemingway Short Story. And in my opinion, this is the cigar that started it all when it comes to short smokes. I mean, prior to the short story, it's not like short, small cigars didn't exist, but a lot of times they were like machine made. Um, you know, it wasn't many people dedicating the premium cigar craft to smaller formats. Fuente, to me, started that whole movement. The first cigar that I can remember thinking to myself, you know what, I'm interested in smoking it, even though it was smaller than I, of a cigar that I never ever smoked, um, was the short story. To me, this is the cigar that started the short cigar movement in the premium cigar industry. So another one of my favorite short cigars is the Ashton VSG Trey Mystique. You know, talk about a little cigar that smokes like a larger cigar. This little thing is like a firecracker. So it's Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, Dominican filler, Dominican binder. You know, the VSG actually has two sizes in their line that are great for short smokes. The Trey Mystique and also the VSG Enchantment. Very unique shape, you know, kind of like this Hemingway shape here, a Figurado, a shape at the top and in the bottom. But both short cigars are excellent, little intense cigars that really have a great earth and great spice when you're not really, you don't really have a lot of time to sit down and smoke for an hour, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, fantastic cigars. So the common theme today with all these small cigars is that these are smaller cigars that smoke like larger cigars. And another great example of that is the Padron 1964 Anniversary Principe. This happens to be the Maduro, it also comes in natural. But, you know, normally when I smoke the Padron 1964 series, I kind of lean on the Exclusivo, which is like a Robusto, the Diplomatico, which is more of a Churchill. And again, it's when I have all the time in the world. But when I don't have a lot of time, this Principe really satisfies that hunger for a nice Nicaraguan blend with chocolate notes. You know, what you get is a small package, but big flavor. So next cigar up on our list is very interesting. The next cigar is the Nub by Oliva Cigars. So the, the nub is a thicker cigar. Even though it's shorter, it has a larger diameter, as you can see. So it allows you to get a wide diameter, so it'll smoke cooler for you, but also in a short format. Now, the, the nub, even though it is small, just a heads up, it's gonna smoke a little longer than the other cigars we're covering today. Even though it's short, it's thick, so it's gonna smoke probably, for the most part, maybe 40 minutes, a little longer than a, than a half hour, depending on the pace of your smoke. But again, small package, but with a big flavor profile. Nub comes in multiple wrappers. This happens to be the Cameroon. It comes in a Connecticut, Habano, uh, but, and a Maduro. But an excellent blend. If you don't have all the time in the world, you're an Oliva fan, reach for the Nub. And speaking of Oliva cigars, the last cigar up on our list is the Oliva Serie V Milanio, number four. When I smoke the Milanio series, I usually reach for the Figurado or maybe the Churchill. I want something longer. As a matter of fact, the Figurado of this blend was actually the number one cigar of the year in Cigar Aficionado several years back, and for good reason. Outstanding blend, Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, Nicaraguan filler, Nicaraguan binder, but that Figurado or Churchill is gonna last you probably an hour plus. When I don't have a lot of time, but I want the same hit from a cigar, that's when I reach for this number four. It packs a lot of pop, it gives me earth, it gives me spice, it gives me everything I want in a bigger cigar, but if I don't have a lot of time, I'm reaching for the Oliva Melania number four. So what did I tell you? I told you it'd be short and sweet. 
hopefully you enjoyed the video. But before we leave, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you here next time.